<laughs> Greetings and salutations! My name is Tisha and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In today's video broadcast, we are doing Learn with us, and I brought my cat pal, my pal, my pal yeah. Clara. I almost said my Clara, my Clara. Clow, pal, Clara. I, I was getting it all mixed up. But anyway, here she is. Oh, geez. I put her in the wrong, I hit the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> I, I heard cat. I heard cat. So, meow. Meow. <laughs> meow. Howdy, 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 howdy. <laughs> Hello. So, today we are going to be doing open cup pours in resin. <laughs> are you getting feedback? Do you Not have anymore. a speaker? Okay. <laughs> I'm not like, anymore. Am I, am I hearing myself? That's kind of that's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> so, um, while we're talking here, I'm going to get my canvas ready because I was busy, you know, yabbering, conferring with conferring with a fellow artist on on my oh. brain functioning. Yeah, I called Johnny this morning. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> uh huh. There's too many techniques in my brain. Why am I not being able to do this? So anyway, um, and then I had to mix paints and, you know, get more coffee because you know coffee is required at this time of day. And anyway, Oops. I didn't put a name um, on that one. I was showing <laughs> I, I was showing the names of the colors and it's like one of them I didn't have a name on so. Mystery, oh, see, mystery red. <laughs> so I'm going to get canvas ready here and then I'll show you how I'm mixing my paint. And um, let me get some water on the back of this canvas. Oh, my bottle is almost empty. Okay, shake it. Time to shake it. Shake Not it the bottle. Back. Shaking the canvas to get the water to go down. <laughs> there we go. I have... Just so you know, I have this, this Mr. Bottle. This is Mr. Mr. Mrs. Mr. I used to have, but she broke. And wow. I just never replaced her. He's good as a single guy, so we'll just leave him that way. <laughs> so is she in rehab or have, has she been buried? Like, you know. she's been, she's, she passed away, so we buried her. Oh, okay. Um, so while I'm get, shaking up this paint, let's go back and chat and say good morning to Trisha Whistler. Good morning. And Julie. And Johnny is here. Yay. Hi, Johnny. Uh, JMO Painting is Johnny, just in case you guys didn't know. Uh, morning, everybody. Sue Ashworth is here. Good day. I know it's awful, but I try. And Doris <laughs> is here. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon to, to Sue, I should say. And Pamela, Pamela McCoy is here. Good morning. Janice is here. And Lynn is here. Um, anybody else I'm missing? Nope. 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 Okay. So for whatever I fi reason. I finally get to use my cheater paint that I was going to use in the background of our challenge color. And then I realized... I made a deep purple, so I finally get to use it because I made up so much of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I have my canvases like pre-prepped around the edges, so it may you look like I was prepared. It may look like I was prepared, but it was for the challenge. So <laughs> <laughs> look at you be all prepared. Okay, so what I'm doing is I mix all my paints to a choice of three. If you missed the live stream last week, um, because Claire was on uh uh, a vacation-ish kind of thing. Um, work vacation. She was at work vacation. Um, but I did a whole video of how I mix my paints, and I will put that link for the replay in the in the in, in the little i box up there. But um, since I mix all my paints to a trace of three, and we need it for about a trace of one for this technique, um, I'm going to be scaling this off because I can't eyeball anything. I swear. My eyes are just, it's not that I'm old, it's just they've always been this way. I, I can't eyeball stuff. I always second guess myself when I eyeball stuff. So I just measure and then I just go with it. So I'm going to measure out an ounce of paint in this little tiny cup. These are three ounce cups. Um, and I'll tell you what paints I'm using in a minute. So I've got an ounce of paint and then I'm going to put 
This is my flute. <laughs> this is yep. my floatrol and water mix. Um, and I'm going to put about a third of an ounce in this cup. There we go. And then I'm also going to add a few drops of uh, GAC 800 from Golden because we are having all kinds of weird weather here. Last week it was freezing cold. This week we're supposed to get 80s. And I just, it, I feel better when I put GAC in there. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm really waiting on you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're always waiting on me. Not true. <laughs> Not true. Usually you're waiting on me. It's like, is Claire, yeah. Artipalooza, where is Claire? Is she showing up? And I don't know. And, I <laughs> and, and, and then you show up and not go and then and not and then not go <laughs> us. so yeah <laughs> yes yesterday was I, funny yeah that was cute and you woke my you kept michael on his toes that was for sure well that's good because he, he was seemed to be taking naps i don't know <laughs> actually was funny he was watching the chat when it would pop up and then and and then because there's a severe lag in StreamYard for the chat um yesterday for whatever reason and um and so he was doodling on the on the thing too on the whiteboard so ah. and then he erased it and i'm like did you at least take a picture of it he's like no i'm like ah. he's a good doodler he's a, he's actually a very skilled artist i i have to admit okay so I don't know if my scale is just broken or what. Or if this is thing. Okay. So I attempted. That's good enough. That's close enough. I want to get going here. Oh, I need to take my flannel off. Good Lord. I, I, it's like I come out to the studio, off goes my shoes and off goes my flannel. <laughs> Gotta get comfortable. Well, if you want to uh, keep your clothes with no paint on it, take them off. <laughs> yeah, paint naked. <laughs> yep. I, that's where my brain was about to go there. That's funny. Okay, I'm cleaning up this cup thing that I did last night. Okay, so I I just took a cup. Uh, one of these cups. One of these cups. And mm -hmm. I just cut the bottom off. Where I just used a uh, 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 razor blade. Yeah, mine's mine's a little shot cup. Shot cup. I can't say it. Shot cup. Shot. Okay. Shot. Shot cup. Shot. Shot. Ah. Ah. Okay, so the colors I'm going to be using today is Prism Violet from Liquitex Basics, Deco Art Sapphire, uh, Liquitex Basics, Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue, Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. And folk art color shift dragon. And then I mixed up um, some white last night. So I didn't want to use white this morning. I wanted to use a gray. It just felt like a gray. Um, so um, I added some Grumbacher uh, Mars Black to it. And a little bit of Prussian Blue to kind of give it a blue cast. So that is what I'm using today. And the cup's moving. It's running off. Whoa. <laughs> Stay. Stay. It's not staying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Zoe. It's not a dog. <laughs> or maybe it's not. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So we'll see if I can do this any better than I did last night because I don't know. Maybe my paints were too thin. It dry it's drying really cool though. I gotta, I gotta say that. I miss my turntable. I should put out my turntable, but it's on the other end of the table and I'm just being lazy. I'll put a little bit of white in there. <laughs> Chase that stubborn cup. <laughs> Lynn says, 
says I'll be sporting my official paint shirt today. Must make an official. Absolutely get that thing covered in paint. <laughs> Just grab the drips and put them on. Y'all shall. <laughs> If you haven't checked out our merch site, uh, I would appreciate it if you did. Not because I want you to buy it, but I, because I want your feedback. And buy it. Let me know. Buy well, it. yeah, buy, buying it would be grand, but you know, <laughs> I just you know, I just want to know what people want. Buy it. Because there's a lot of cute designs on there. <clears throat> I think they're cute, and. I'll be next week. I'll be adding more designs to there because I, I'll get a I'll get an inspiration for a design and I'll design it real quick, but I have to tweak it, um, usually, and that takes a little time. So I'll design it real quick and then I'll have it saved and then I'll tweak it and put it on the website. I'm hoping to add three to four new designs every month. Because I am a bubbling fount of ideas when it comes to t-shirts. Because I love snarky t-shirts. Oh, snarky, yes, definitely. Snarky t-shirts are my are, are, are my way of being snarky without having to be. <laughs> it's like when you're out in public, That's you know, you can't, be, you can't necessarily yeah. see it. But if it's on your shirt, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I just... Keep filling it while it's dumping out. Is that is that basically the general plan? That's basically the general premise. Yes. Okay. So, putting my cup down, putting a little bit of my base coat in the cup, and a little bit of the base coat around the cup. There we go. I've watched Johnny do this like hundred hundred times. I didn't put around it. That's what it is. Ha ha. Fudge. <laughs> Oh well, too. I, I, hey, it's still working though, isn't it? It's 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 oozing. That's what you I want, it, right? Uh huh. Okay. Normally, normally you don't, but ooze is good. Ooze is good in this situation. Uh huh. I'm gonna end this one. Oh, there it goes. It was running around the canvas too. Yep. Hey, you get back here. All right, uh, we're working good. They could have enough colors. I, I, you know, I don't even know how much, I mean, I really don't know. I'm just going to let it sit there and do its thing for a minute. While I check chat, looks like Shannon from Shannon Shack is here. Good morning. Grace is here. Good morning, Grace. Evelyn Warner, hello! <laughs> so wonderful to see all these people. Oh, I have a torch over here. Ha <laughs> This is kind of cool. I'm kind of liking this. I am going to put a touch more purple in there. Just because I'm me. I like my purple. Sorry, Johnny, no red. <laughs> what did you say, no red? Yeah, Johnny's favorite color is red. Nice. All right. You just tilt away, I guess. Yes. Yes. All right. We're tilting. Slowly. Slowly. Tilt. Uh huh. Right. Well. <laughs> She's like, yeah. You're not tilting resin, honey. You're tilting acrylics. Patience is a virtue. Oh, speaking of acrylics, mm -hmm. um, Marcy from Mixed Media Girl has a new website, and I use uh, 
her split cup, the dual chambered split cup, and a lot of my pours. In fact, um, I think this last week was one I did one um, for the Friday Night Flip Cup Challenge palette colors. Anyway, um, she is. She announced last night that she is doing a ten percent off her website. Um, the code for the ten percent off is email, like E M A I L, email. Mm -hmm. um, so you get ten percent off her new website. Nice. So I thought I would share that all with you, so y'all can go share your love of acrylic pouring with her. So I'm just gonna let this. I'm just gonna tip it with the cup right on there and kind of give it a little bit of a swirl effect maybe that's the theory maybe. that's the theory and you're sticking to it yep okay <laughs> i haven't done one of these in like a year maybe longer so i was all on board because i have an idea of a i guess uh Let's look up with um that open where you drag the cup, and I want to do yeah. that in resin big time. So, hoping for a project to come out of that. So that's why I wanted to do it in acrylics first. I don't know. Sounded like a reasonable plan to me. That was reasonable. Oh, the rules to this, I'm, so I'm just gonna do my thing. <laughs> I don't. Are there rules in in art? I didn't know there were rules in art. Um, actually, there are rules in art, and you. I, I had an awesome teacher that taught me once that learn all the rules and then promptly turn around and break them all. Oh, okay. So, I I didn't even know they existed. So. Yeah. I just thought you could do whatever you wanted to do. Pretty much. I just got a lot of pretty shimmer to it. Yeah, you use that that uh, primary element stuff. I may have used too much, meaning like there's a lot of shimmer, not a lot of contrast. Right. Or you know, a variation of um, textures. There's right. I got gobbly gook in my paint. Uh oh. That's never good. I think I know when it came in. Ah, oh, shoot. I just dropped it right back in there. Okay, fine. Did you say you had another canvas ready or you just have the one? Um, I've got six under the oh. table. So, yeah, I can do another one. Okay. I had a package of six. So okay. I won't take anything to bust them open. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this one like that because that looks really cool. I'm grateful I used the gray. I don't know why. I'm just, I've been in a great, ever since Heather did that live stream and she worked with gray, I'm like, oh, I love this gray. I'm going to play with gray. So here I am playing with gray. So, so you're playing, so playing with gray then? Yep, I got a gray background on this one and I really, I'm really, I really like it. I like it like that though. Now that I'm covered in paint. <laughs> I should have put the background color in it. That would have given me more contrast. Dana Fryer has joined us. Good morning, Dana. Good morning. I need a towel. <laughs> Here, I'll hand you one. <laughs> Got some stretch McPherson arms going on over there that I don't know about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go, go, gadget arm. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't heard that neon. I, know, I don't know why it just popped into my head. 
Okay. So we'll see how that dries. There's a lot of... I haven't even torched this yet. I, I, I'm going to to pop the bubbles because this is all just freshly mixed paint. So there's going to be bubbles in there. Yeah, black and white can be really harsh. It's like really stark. And even just... I've done pours where I've kept the white, the background kind of a, a white, but I put just like a few drops of black in there. So it just has that undertone of gray. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or I've put, like I'll make um, the soft body acrylic paint into a background and then I'll take unbleached titanium and put like, like a half ounce in there. So it just tones down the brightness of the white and it does some cool effects too. So keep that in mind for future reference all right i need to torch this there we go see i've had two well this is my second cup of coffee i made iced coffee this morning so i had one already and i'm on my second and i'm still just struggling you'll get there right. this is really pretty oh my gosh i'm like actually really happy with this and kind of eh, on mine. <laughs> hey, you know what though? It's it's just it's just really sometimes it's, it's there, and sometimes it's like <laughs> yeah. But your your eat is like oh my god, that's gorgeous. You know? Yeah, don't we do that to each other's paintings? I mean, yes. I can't tell you how many times that you and Brooke have done it. You're like, eh, I don't like mine. It's like oh my god, but yours is awesome. And y'all do yeah, it to each other. Yeah, all the time. All the time, but we're you know I just remind us remind myself that we're each our own worst critic, you Absolutely. know. So I'm gonna give a close up of this really quick so you guys can see. Now you guys can't see the sparkle; all you see is color, and there are areas that look a little muddy, but that's the gray, and then the gold floating over the gray, so it's reflecting as kind of a of, of a brown. And you know what? I'm okay with brown too. Brown is like the most underrated neutral. Brown's great. You know, I love brown, especially Van Dyke brown. That is like my favorite brown. Yeah, that's a gorgeous but brown. Yes, agreed. It's so rich and it reminds me of chocolate. And anything that reminds me of chocolate is a good thing. Okay, I need another towel. All right, <laughs> All right I'm on it. You're on the, on the next one? Yep, got another one on there. Already got the background color on there. Right. Oh, Jesus. Look at you go. Okay. Lacking Squirt tip. bottles. Squirt <laughs> bottles. Love them. <laughs> yes. I know, but I, I have a rack full of paintings. I gotta make room. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, sincerely thinking of having an auction come June and just selling, like, taking an afternoon and just selling... Like 50 paintings. I, you know, you gave me a great idea and I'm going to go with it. <laughs> Surprise. Okay. Oh, um, what I say? <laughs> no, well, since, you know, it's, it's hard to do an auction when there's, you know, just you kind of right. thing. So what I would do is I figured I'd do a show and tell and I would put them all up on Etsy and uh, then, you know, do a surprise, you know, you know, sell them out. So. Right. We're gonna we're gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with white. Why not? Well, everybody's loving them both. Johnny says, "Love them Color both. Nice. Love both of them. Great job." Dora says, "Love both of them." Ah. So I'm grabbing another Arteza canvas. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Take it off! Hey! <laughs> I'm actually going to grab my little I'm going to grab my little guy like you got cuz I'm going to I want to try a little guy. So I don't know how this is going to work cuz my okay. <laughs> It's not Zoe. It's not going to listen. It's not stay. Well, does Zoe stay when you tell her? Or well, she get all does, She does if I dangle a piece of cheese over her head. <laughs> Stay. Not staying. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. Maybe that's what I need to try with Scout. Cheese. Okay. Hey, fingernails work great. This might be interesting. <laughs> you got this. Well, ouch. Okay. Well, ouch. That's new one. Well, it, it. I'm trying to do this on the edge of my table and just use my thumb, but my thumb is not strong enough, so I got Get out the mallet. Sorry. <laughs> but you guys should know if you're new to the channel, I'm sorry. If you're if you're already been here a few times, you know I'm loud. You know I'm loud. <laughs> loud? What? I'm loud. No, I don't either. I, I'm just, you know. Okay, I gotta find my little guy. Where's my little guy? I had a little guy. There he is. Up the hell down. The other thing I was gonna try is these are K cups from the the Keurig that had uh -huh. hot cocoa in them. So I was gonna use one of these one time. That's a great Cause idea. Because I'm, you know, recycle like that. And then I have another thing on it underneath the table, but I'm not gonna say what it is because it's gonna be a surprise. Okay. Don't 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 so, share. That's all right. I I am. I, I'm not gonna share. Okay. My prerogative. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll share with you later. <laughs> <laughs> so can I bounce an idea off uh, on your? Your compadres in the chat, are you okay with that? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. Him. So I was thinking about putting a line of shirts together with just the artwork that I've been doing on the trays, the dragons, and the horses and stuff, and just having that be a feature on the shirt. Would you guys be interested in something like that? Um, If y'all don't type in hashtag yes, I'm going to find you and make you do it. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. I've been telling her to do it like for like the last what two months. <laughs> okay, Tish, look at your monitor because ah my gosh, <gasps> that's so cool. I'm not entirely sure what I did, but I'll have to rewatch it. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> <laughs> that's I so did. cool. That's fun. Now tip it slowly. <laughs> yes, mom. <laughs> Okay, so we have Janice says yes, Julie says yes, Doris says yes, Lynn says yes. <laughs> and jo Johnny says hashtag possibly just to tick off Tish. <laughs> hey, Johnny, Smart. I don't know you that well, but I think I like you a whole lot more now. <laughs> Johnny is Johnny Johnny is in my in my class of besties. All right. I'm gonna just put it up in there right now. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on the on the canvas because I got a few bald spots, but you know, bald is sexy. Look at you know uh uh Patrick Stewart. All right, just don't look because I'm tilting. I'm not watching. Good. I'm so totally not watching. So what is the rule of thumb that you usually do for torching? Do you do it before you tilt, after you tilt, what? Yes. Okay. It depends on the painting. Right. If it looks, if I look at the pit, like if I pour a, a cup and it looks like there's a whole crap ton of bubbles and I don't want, I don't want perfectly round cells or perfectly round stuff in there, I'll pop them before they go. Because if you tilt while there's still bubbles, sometimes those bubbles don't pop because uh -huh. they're stubborn, like me. <laughs> and so uh, I'll just, you know, 
I'll pop them before beforehand. Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I just don't feel like it. Sometimes I, you know, it just depends on what's going on. Yeah. So. Evelyn says kind of looks like lava. Uh, Johnny wants to know what colors you did. Did you use for that? I don't even know. From Johnny from mine or for Tish? Uh, my Johnny. I know you're Johnny. I'm talking about, did you want to know the colors for my painting or your painting? Clara. Silly. Clara. What? Clara. What? Your painting. Oh, okay. Um, there's, <laughs> I, a of, thinking... there's a lot <laughs> Go. of, there's a lot of primary element, uh, colors in there. Uh, there's a little bit of Amsterdam white and then the extreme, you know, uh, sheen 24 karat gold in there too. Uh, the red is a mystery. Sorry, I was bad. I didn't label the thing when I mixed it up. So you don't know what the mystery one is. I have one little white cell at the bottom that has a white ring around it. It's funny. And you don't have silicone or dimethicone or anything, any additives to get cells in your paint, correct? Uh, yeah, I kind of avoid silicone at all costs if I can, just because I do so much resin work. And man, that stuff is easy to sabotage your resin work with it. Yes. Yes, it is. And I got one more area. I'm kind of actually thinking about leaving it like that, though. Yes, I think I'll do that. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hee hee. Okay, I'm happy with well, this one. I would hope so. Well, if you ever pour paint on the uh, board just to touch your corners with the paint, that's what I'm doing. Just straight paint. Hang on, as soon as I'm done with this, I'll, I'll go look up the colors for you. That's so cool. I was happy. How are you doing, Tish? I'm here. <laughs> that good, huh? Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm finding an a, an a theory here. Uh huh. Because I had this cell is purple on the outside, blue on the on like the inner outer rim, and then kind of this greenish yellow in the middle. And I did, the purple is a transparent, the deco art blue is an opaque, the cadmium yellow that's in there is a transparent, and then the color shift dragon is an opaque. So I layered a transparent, opaque, transparent, opaque, and, and that's kind of how I've been trying to do it. That's how I got that effect, I think. It's a theory. Well, there's only one way to test the theory out, right? Keep doing it. <laughs> oh, eh, it's falling. And all mine's done with the mix pouring medium, mainly because I've got three bottles. I got to use it up. Oh, you <laughs> did use it for an open cup because that was something I asked if Johnny had done, and he said he had not done it. Ah, okay. Let's see. The colors. Okay, primary elements. This is daffodil. Let's see. 
Another one, uh, primary elements, this is ginger flower. Boy, oh, you can, probably can't see that. That's another one, uh, boysenberry, which is a gorgeous grapey purple. I love it. Uh, this extreme sheen, 24K. Uh, <laughs> mystery red. And <laughs> primary <laughs> elements, mandarin blush. So, yeah. One, two, three, four primary elements. And then I've got Amsterdam white in here. That one's a mixture of black and doxine uh, purple from um, Golden Fluids, the background color. So I do have two what I call creams in there. And then the rest of them are shimmers. So that looks so fun. I love this zone right in here. So much tension. Yeah. And if you guys aren't dizzy enough, let me know and I can change that. <laughs> I'm dizzy. Oh, you're talking about <laughs> watching the camera. Never mind. <laughs> Doing the old, you know, moving around and getting close up on the focus. Yeah, stand up straight. My back hurts. This one I'm going to leave negative space on. I'm going to try uh -huh. to. Oh, you're welcome. Well, hey, I'm available. I can read chat now. <laughs> you guys have any <laughs> questions, start plopping them out now because I can read it. I'm not exactly clean enough to type in the answers. but <laughs> That's why we get to be verbal. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, thank you, everybody. I, I told love, you you could do it. I love the blues on the gray background. Love, love, love. I thought about doing a um, a paint gray for a I pulled out paint gray this morning. I pulled out paint gray, and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to make a gray with a blue undertone to it. Uh, yeah, Lynn, I got to work on that textured tumbler. That's going to take some time. Definitely. I've got some, remember that uh, texture tumbler that I, I showed on one of your lives, the unveiling yes. of? So I've You're got evil. these little bitty beads that I want to put in all these little holes. That's going to take for freaking ever. <laughs> it may be one of those, you know, put on a good movie kind of things and <laughs> work on that. Yeah. Ooh, I like yours. Keep going. Tilt slowly, Tish. Don't hurt me. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I'm trying to get some of these bigger cells to kind of open up. Marcy had huge influence on the tilting. She's just not afraid. No, she goes in balls to the wall. I I like to be a little bit more gentle. Mm -hmm. I do like bringing it into the middle so it's not so distorted on the cells and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, Evelyn, they're a little bitty uh, iridescent. I guess beads is not really the correct term. Well, they're micro. They're micro beads. Yeah. They're small. Let's see if I can pull them up close on my hand. And with the light being pretty nice. So they're itty bitty little suckers. I'm either going to really love this idea or I hate it by the time I'm done with it. <laughs> well, you'll probably love the end result. You'll just hate the idea. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the... That's kind of how I'm feeling with the tumbler turners. It's like, oh, I love this idea, but I just so much work. <laughs> nope, I'm totally okay. off screen. I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the, um, Erica has those. That's a color passion product. 
Okay, I'm leaving this right here, just like that. I like it that way. I'm not too keen on this little bit of gold right here, but I'm gonna leave it. This one, right, this like this little tiny drip patch of gold. And I'm not. I'm hoping it'll like sink in and. Can you drop a little gray on it? Will it level out at this point? I'm just gonna. I, I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin the edge of those cells. The edge of those cells is purple, and I'm afraid if I get too close to it, I'm gonna ruin it. So I'm just gonna let it be. It's the only part I don't like, and that's very rare for me. Usually, it, it, it's a lot more. <laughs> a lot, a lot more parts. <laughs> a lot more parts. And this one doesn't look like a man part, so we're gonna go with it. The one I did last night kind of dried looking like a man part, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, it's okay. I can live with it if, if you, well, you know. You know, all, you know, so many geodes out there don't look, it looks like the girly part, so. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. I, I know, I remember um, I was still in cake decorating, you know, like, you know, life, I guess you'd say, when the oh. geo came out and everybody called them the JJ cakes yeah yep. you know because they that's what they looked like and people were doing them as wedding cakes and they're like well are you doing a rocket ship one too for the guy you know <laughs> 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 it was really funny i was like okay you guys you know this is their special day let them have a JJ cake if they want to yep <laughs> oh clara be still my beating heart. I love you. Oh, I have, a, I have a question for you. Did your glitter stay on your painting or did it sink? Oh. Ha 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 ha. Because I'm going to show my butterfly here because the other, the coasters turned out like that. You're just going to have to send me some of that glitter. <laughs> or tell me where I can buy it. Well, you know where you can buy it because I get most of my resin stuff from Mars Till Death. Was it, was, it was, I wasn't sure if it was an ATD thing or not, so. Yep, yep. And I got a coupon code. Howdy. <gasps> Clara's got her own coupon code? I do. <gasps> so go to ATD and use the coupon code Clara so everybody knows. No, 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 no. The coupon code is howdy. Or howdy. Howdy. Go to ATD, artist till death, mm -hmm. and type in howdy for your coupon code. Because I always tell oh. howdy, howdy. Yes, you do. There's my flutter by. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. You know what I'm going to do is I've got this, um, I've got some black vinyl. And um, I'm going to cut it out so it looks like uh, I have a pattern for gears. And I'm going to overlay it with the gears and then do another. So it looks like it's like a geared butterfly. Nice. Because I'm steampunk girl. <laughs> mm hmm So... There's that. That's from the Three Do's and Three Don'ts Challenge. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch it because it's kind of funny. And I complained the whole time, but it's okay. I survived. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to do a close-up of this eh, really quick. Not drop it. Squish. I'm just waiting for one of us to do a squish on the camera. I know it's going to happen I one day. I, I don't get close enough to my camera, so <laughs> I can't get yeah. way up there. I, I bring my camera down and I pan over it and I just I keep chatting to myself, you know, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it as I do it. <laughs> when I do, when I do close ups in the in 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 my videos, mm -hmm. um I leave the I, I do it in post. I do it in editing. I do a crop and zoom in Filmora and that's how I do my close ups. <laughs> because I cheat. Okay, here we go. But you can see, can you see those layers? I hope it dries like this. I, I just, I hope it dries like this. And there's yeah, a lot. Really I thought I killed him last night. Damn it. I don't want to get bit or stung or whatever it is they do. But you can see there's little bitty cells popping up in there, little gold cells. So I love the texture in this. But I'm excited for those cells right there. All these cells. And that's why I tilted so slow is because I didn't want the cells to, to, disappear? to dissipate. So 
I might have to put a stick underneath there. I don't think it's level. There. Oh, I can't put my level on it either. Damn it. But, well, you could, but... <laughs> well, it's... Actually, I know it'll be level right here. So some of these boards have, like, spots in them. And I, that's why I put the plastic on here is to kind of help level that out. But when I get low on plastic, it doesn't, it doesn't help as much. Yeah. So, all right. So next week, Michael and I are on vacation from doing live streams. So we will not be live on Thursday morning. But the Thursday after that, uh, we will be doing open cups in resin because we do one technique in acrylic and one technique in resin. And then we go down the rabbit hole of tumblers for a while, and then we come back to doing. <laughs> what? We'll grab some air. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably go back down the rabbit hole probably late June, um, because I have some things I want to try, and so does Clara, and that's just how we roll. We just keep trying things out. So be sure to join us on Thursday mornings if you have questions about ac acrylic pouring or resin. Um, also another great way to get your questions answered is to leave them in the comments or join our Facebook group. Or if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me once a month, join our memberships at the platinum level. And that gives you a half hour one-on-one -on -one each month, which usually turns into an hour, but you know, <laughs> it just gives you an opportunity to pick my brain for creative ideas. So we have that available too. Thank you so much for joining us today. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness. Maybe, y'all. If I can find the button, there it is. <laughs>